Uh, my name's Hikus here. I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on um, the Access Virus and how to set up multiple outputs within Ableton. Um, okay, so first of all, with your um, in the virus, you have to select in the patch utility the ability for the USB mode to come out three outputs. So once you've selected that, okay, what I'm going to do quickly is um, just now for these first three channels in the access is just randomly choose a couple of uh, let's actually choose that one there a couple of presets okay um, now in Ableton I'm going to create two MIDI channels okay um, what I'm going to do first of all is so you guys can actually hear it is just record the audio alright so once we've done that all right, so now in the inputs for these two MIDI channels, I'm going to select these guys. So number two is going to correspond to number two here. So from the output of the MIDI channel goes to the virus, and then it goes to channel two in the virus. And for the third one, I'm going to select the third one. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is just create a MIDI clip by double clicking. Okay, and now I'm going to show you guys a quick shortcut to create some MIDI notes. Just double click in your key roll and then holding down shift and using your computer cursors left and right you can actually extend the MIDI note duplicating command or control D for PC and Mac and I'm just going to create a quick little sequence there let's have a play okay so we can hear it working and now I'm just going to copy these guys over okay now if I play all these guys together you can see they're all coming out the same stereo output here for the Access Virus um, in Ableton. So I'm going to separate these, and the way I do that is I create two more audio channels. So I'll just select these guys so they come next to each other. And what I'm going to do is just pair these guys with a color so I don't get confused and I know who's with who. So let's select like so. All right, now for the um, output, okay, or the input, should I say, for my... Um, audio channel, I'm going to select the virus and down the bottom here I'm going to select input 2 to correspond to my channel 2 and then for my audio here as well I'm going to select the virus and I'm going to select input 3 to correspond to input 3. Now on the virus um, for each one of the channels you have to select the USB output so by right clicking um, if you right click on the channel you can see you've got USB 1 left and right so I'm going to select that for my first channel my second channel I'm going to select USB 2 left and right for my second channel and USB 3 I'm going to right click and select USB 3 left and right okay so now that I've done that they should all work with each other okay so I'll select these as input channels and you can see now I have them all coming in to their individual channels and basically this allows me to apply dynamic effects, time-based effects to each one of those channels separately. Um, you can have up to six outputs if you use the analog outputs as well um, of the Access Virus. Um, of course you'll need a sound card that will give you um, those inputs. Um, any questions? let me know, feel free. Um, there's also the, uh, the written handout and step guide that you guys can download as well. Um, this is Hikus, multiple outputs for the Axis virus in Ableton. Have fun. I should have said peace, shouldn't I? Peace.